And we want to begin first at 430 by bringing you up to speed this afternoon. A would-be robber is recovering tonight after being shot by a clerk at a 7-Eleven. Police say it was the third location the two uh, robbers had hit that night. The plan fell through after one of the suspects was shot by a clerk at the store on Indian School. He's expected to be okay. But the second suspect was able to get away. A Phoenix couple is dead after what appears to be a murder suicide inside their valley home. Police found the pair just after 7 o'clock last night during a welfare check. They say the husband, Victor Isa, killed his wife Jocelyn before turning the gun on himself. Right now, police are investigating after a car hit a home near 81st Avenue and West Earl Drive. It happened just after 1230 this afternoon. Right now, the cause of the crash is under investigation. Well, a Christmas tree is being blamed for a dangerous overnight fire near 111th Avenue in Peoria in Sun City. A neighbor shot this video as firefighters arrived there on the scene. Officials say the homeowner was able to get out through a bedroom window. Officials have identified 83 year old Rose Benson as the victim in a deadly trailer fire in Mesa. Fire officials tell us the fire started inside the trailer near Main Street and Higley on Saturday morning and believe that there was probably an electrical problem of some sort. Investigators say that Benson's husband was able to get out of the fire but had to be treated for smoke inhalation and burns. Well, a father is being charged with aggravated assault after allegedly punching his child's vice principal. It happened at Taylor Junior High in Mesa. According to police, the dad was picking up his kid when the disagreement happened. Police say several witnesses reported the dad started making threats and alluded to having a weapon before hitting the vice principal in the face. Nothing says Christmas like a good old Yule log. But if you, what is a Yule log anyway? <laughs> but if you live in Phoenix, you'll have to hold off on that log or just regular Yule. <laughs> Yules and wood until after the holiday. The city has called for a ban on wood burning fireplaces and fire pits through Christmas Day because of air pollution. Violators will be ticketed. Gas burning fire pits are permitted. Tempe won't be able to ring in the new year with their annual fireworks display because it's too dry. Same problem. The announcement was posted on downtown Tempe's events list. The dry conditions on Hayden Butte, also known as A Mountain, were deemed as a fire safety hazard. The city is now considering alternate locations.